ओम ज्ञानतिरंद ज्ञानंजनशलाखया चक्षुरुन्मील येन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नमो ओम विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्तिवेदस्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चातिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासदी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो हेयर द लॉर्ड कपिला इज कंक्लूडिंग द बेस्ट पाथ ऑफ लिबरेशन फ्रॉम दिस मटीरियल एग्जिस्टेंस which is the original position of every living entity to render pure devotional service to supreme personality of godhead so previous to this <clears throat> lord kapila has described fruitive activities which can elevate one to heavenly planets he also described earlier the sinful activities by which one suffers in this material existence now he is describing the best process adopting which one can completely be freed from this material existence and be situated in his original position as the servant of the lord in the spiritual world so how one should take to this process and what is this process and why one should take to this process is described in this verse very nicely by lord kapila <clears throat> tasmat tvam sarva bhavena so tasmat means therefore <clears throat> so lord kapila is concluding here after describing the different paths of the living entities how the living entity is going up and down in this material existence so what is the best path the living entity can adopt so that his life can become all auspicious and that is what he is concluding tasmatvam sarvabhavena one should worship the supreme personality of godhead prabhu pad translates uh, with loving ecstasy see in the beginning we worship the supreme personality with rules and regulations but one should aspire that should i whole life be situated on this platform that every day devotee have to come and wake me up come for mangal aarti come for mangal aarti and then somehow or other why you no know, because other devotees what they will think and if i have to remain in brahmachari ashram i have to attend the programs 
so out of some kind of social pressure or out of understanding that it is the order of my spiritual master i should attend so we perform devotional service as per rules and regulations and it is not automatic we may not have an attraction in the beginning stage and that is why this platform of devotional service is called sadhana bhakti wherein rules and regulations are very important aspects for one to follow if one wants to advance if one becomes slackened in following the rules and regulation one will not become elevated to further stages you see just like shila rupa go swami has described how the bhakti process gradually elevates one the elevation is gradual so he says adau shraddha the beginning of devotional service starts with faith in the supreme personality of godhead and faith in the devotional process if one does not have shraddha then actually it will not be practical for him to advance further in devotional service shraddha is very important <clears throat> and prabhupad explains shraddha should be that if i take to this process of devotional service i don't require any other process <clears throat> that is the meaning of shraddha not that okay for spiritual upliftment i require this process and for material upliftment i require something else maybe i i require to worship other devatas also and i will worship krishna also so that is not considered to be shraddha in chaitanya charitamrita shraddha is very nicely described shraddha shabde vishwas shraddha word means faith what is the faith sudrid nischaya that one is confident sudrid nischaya one is very very confident what krishna bhakti kaile sarv karma kritahaya if i take to devotional service of krishna then i don't require any other separate endeavor or activity either for material upliftment or my spiritual advancement i don't require exclusively i should take to devotional service of the supreme lord so bhakti begins with this and how one comes to this point is after hearing when <clears throat> in association of pure devotees when one hears about krishna about devotional service then one's faith develops it is very important to understand and that is why 
it is a very important business of devotees that if we want to instill faith in people about devotional service we have to speak we have to talk to them we have to give them association it is only when people hear about krishna when people hear spiritual sound their faith in devotional service will arise otherwise it is very difficult and that is how it is described brahmande bhramite kono bhagyavan ji guru krishna prasade pai bhakti lata ji when one attains the association of pure devotee guru then by the mercy of that pure devotee of the lord and by the mercy of the supreme lord the seed of devotional service is put in our heart by the mercy of the spiritual master and by the mercy of the supreme lord then it is our duty to take care of this seed it is that it is not enough to get the seed so at the time of initiation we get the seed of devotional service but then it is our uh, very important duty after initiation to take care that this seed is already sown now it should develop further and further and further and not stop till it reaches till it penetrates this material existence goes to the spiritual world and takes shelter at the lotus feet of the supreme lord so that is very important and that shelter will happen only after bhava final shelter taking shelter at the lotus feet of the lord is possible only when we have developed to the stage of bhava prema then it is possible otherwise our mind is always diverted to this material existence it is said in bhagavatam one should not trust his mind bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur therefore used to say early in the morning beat with shoes before going to bed beat with broomsticks then only it is possible to control this mind because if we place our trust in this mind bhagavatam says it is the nature of the mind to cheat us the example is given <clears throat> when a hunter puts a net and catches some animal in that net he does not place trust in the caught animals the animals which are caught he does not place trust in them he does not become he always remains very alert it is not that now i have caught them so it is good enough and he is no more alert no he always remains alert does not place trust similarly we should also not place trust in our mind because by nature the mind is very flickering that is the nature of this mind until it has obtained the shelter of krishna 
where it has become completely fixed till that point the mind is very flickering so one should not place trust in his mind another example is given in the vedic scriptures in bhagavatam itself it is called pumshchali <clears throat> just like a woman who is not trustworthy the woman who is not trustworthy if you put your trust there is a good possibility that you may be killed also there are many examples <clears throat> the husband has put trust on the wife who is not trustworthy and the wife becomes attached to so many other and then uh, we have seen that there is a good possibility that they tie up the wife ties up with that person his her paramour and even kills the husband this example given in the vedic scriptures so one should not place trust in the mind like that <clears throat> so it is very important that <clears throat> the devotional service <clears throat> which we have taken up we practice it very very seriously and if we want that this shraddha <clears throat> should grow further and further and it becomes matured shraddha then it should be practiced in association of devotees adav shraddha but if you want that the shraddha whatever i have attained somehow or other by mercy of guru and krishna if we are not careful to practice it in association of devotees then there is every possibility that uh, our shraddha which is very tender may be eaten away by maya see what happens when we are in association of devotees there are very good chances that we get very good feel to practice devotional activities devotional service and if we practice properly then if we are doing nicely we get good encouragement and if we are deviating then there are processes and this association of devotee is such that our anarthas will come out and then it is our duty to understand that it is in the association of devotees that i am able to understand that there are so many anarthas suppose you are practicing it alone you are not doing it in the association of devotees you will never know that there are so many anarthas you will never know that you have become humble you will never know that you are tolerant isn't it there is nobody to offend you but here in the association of devotees sometimes you will find somebody comes and shouts at you isn't it so then <clears throat> here we get a chance to actually practice tolerance whatever we have read trinadapi sunichena tarori va sahishruna amanina manadena now where to practice this amanina manadena i will give all respect to everybody else and i will not expect any respect for myself where else you will practice this if it is not in the midst of devotees where else you will get chance to practice very difficult isn't it in the in the material world everybody is simply scratching your back you scratch their back they will scratch oh very nice very nice very nice but in the midst of the devote devotees there are very good chances that somehow or other our anarthas will come out or maya will test how much we have advanced now 
isn't it? So, <clears throat> it is just like devotional service does not develop unless it is practiced in association of devotees. It is Vijnana. It is a practical service. Has anybody learned swimming without going into the water? Yes, I have read so many books. Now I can swim. No. Swimming can be learned only when you enter into the water. And it is not that in the beginning itself you will become a very big swimmer. In the beginning you will have to struggle. After some struggle, sometimes you are gulping water and then you again come out and then again you go. Slowly you learn swimming and then you become expert swimmer. Similarly, it is devotional service if it is not practiced in association of devotees. So many important practical aspects of devotional service will elude us. And until and unless we have become trained in this material world, there is no question of going to the spiritual world. Any good company, any good company, if you want to take an employment, first there is a training period. First there is internship. When you have become trained, then only they will take you as a permanent employee there. So if it is there even in this material world, we should understand it, it, will be, it is going to be there in the spiritual world. If we cannot adjust with 25-30 devotees, how can you adjust with innumerable devotees of Krishna? Here if somebody is doing some good devotional service, we become envious. In the spiritual world, how will we survive? There are innumerable devotees. In the spiritual world, see how much difference is the consciousness. Everyone is thinking actually not doing very good devotional service, others are doing very good. The more you advance, this understanding will come. In the material atmosphere, actually we will start thinking, I am doing the best. All others are simply something they are doing. Isn't it? So much difference you will find. The more one becomes a Mahabhagavata Uttama Adhikari, the more one will be thinking that actually I am not engaged in devotional service. Everyone else is engaged in devotional service. He becomes so humble. So, it is so important to practice devotional service in association of devotees. So, that is why it is said, Adau Shraddha Tata Sadhu Sangha. Very important aspect is Sadhu Sangha. Then what happens? Bhajana Kriya. In association, we do our Bhajana Kriya. We chant, we do our services. This is called Bhajana Kriya. All the programs we attend, everything we do, it is all Bhajana Kriya. See, how much importance is there of the strength of association? We don't realize this. You can try this. Leave association of devotee for few months and try if you can chant your 16 rounds. Try if you can attend Mangal Arati daily. Try without association of devotees, you can read Srimad Bhagavatam. Isn't it? We have taken it for granted and we don't honor, we don't understand the importance of association of devotees. Some little problem and sometimes we think, no, I will leave this Krishna consciousness. Isn't it? Not understanding that Better to tolerate small problem, 
isn't it? Better to tolerate that small problem which I am having because of the great advantage in being in the midst of devotional service. So, Tata Sadhu Sangha, the Bhajana Kriya, then Anartha Nivrati Syad. If we do our devotional service, Bhajana Kriya properly, then result will be all our unwanted, uh, whatever different kinds of uh, uh, anarthas we are having, unwanted habits are there, unwanted thoughts are there, unwanted activities we are engaged in, all those things are purified. So the dirt is completely purified. When this is purified, then comes Nishtha. Till Anarthas are purified, our mind will always be agitated. Because of these Anarthas. So these are the things, Kama, that will agitate your mind. Krodha, that will agitate your mind. Mada, Matsarya, enviousness will agitate our mind. Anger will agitate your mind. But once these things are removed, these anarthas are gone, then tatha, nishtha, one becomes fixed. Then we develop attachment for devotional service. What began with some kind of rules and regulation, now we have developed attachment for it. For few days, if you don't get chance to hear Bhagavatam, you'll become mad. When that kind of situation comes, you should know you're advancing. And if you're thinking, chalo, chhut, picha chuta, do tin din, ab mujhe mangalarti attend karne ki jarurat nahi, do tin din, chutti. That means actually we are not advancing in devotional service. And because of whatever circumstances, you could not attend program, you could not hear Bhagavatam class and you become very agitated. Your mind, you know, then we can understand that actually we are advancing. So, that is the meaning of asakti, you become attached. Just like you will find the drunkards very attached to drinking. They cannot live without that. Isn't it? Two days, you keep them in the house, they will become mad. They have to go. They have to go and drink. Like that, we have to develop attachment for sadhana. <clears throat> and then, ruchi. And once ruchi comes, then nobody requires to keep on telling you, why are you missing Guru Puja? Why are you going and sitting in the ashram? Why are you going and sleeping during the time of uh, sadhana, is, when the sadhana is going on? Because we have not developed ruchi. And if you have developed ruchi, then you will not miss. Automatically you will come. Because you are getting taste. Yeah. See the taste you get sometime when you... in WhatsApp messages, reels, different things, what is happening in the world. Yeah, people you will find very addicted. Ruchi, they have developed taste for that. News, what is happening? Bangalore mein kya ho hai? Karnataka mein what is happening? Delhi, what is happening? Jammu Kashmir, what is happening? Isn't it? So it depends on taste. So, if you have developed Ruchi for programs in Krishna consciousness, that is a sign of advancement. After this will be when you start developing ecstatic symptoms. Bhava and then Prema, Krishna Prema. So that is the stage, Bhava stage, which Lord Kapila is talking about, that it is in this Bhava stage one will take complete shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna 
because those lotus feet are worth taking shelter of he is not advising you take shelter of lotus feet of uh, you know some uh, devatas or even brahma greatest of the devatas no parameshtinam the supreme personality of godhead his lotus feet are worth taking shelter of one should take shelter of that so that is what prabhupada is saying the word parameshtinam sometime it is used in connection with brahma supreme person as brahma is supreme person within the universe krishna is supreme personality in the spiritual world lord kapila dev advises his mother she should take shelter of lotus feet of supreme personality of godhead because it is worthwhile taking shelter of demigod even in the highest position like brahma and shiva is not advised here in and how one should take shelter prabhupa says in all loving ecstasy bhava is preliminary stage of elevation before attainment of pure love of godhead it is stated in bhagavad gita buddha bhava samanvitah one who has attained the stage of bhava can accept the lotus feet of lord krishna as worshipable it is at this stage of bhava one completely takes shelter of lotus feet of krishna this is advised here by lord krishna by lord kapila to his mother also tad guna gunayaya ashraya bhaktya this means that discharging devotional service unto krishna is transcendental so when we take shelter of lotus feet of krishna when we come under the qualities of lord krishna when we take shelter of devotional activities like worshiping the lotus feet of the lord then we come under the qualities of lord krishna which are divine you are no more under material gunas you come under devi guna devi maya that is the difference so then this shoka moha bhaya once we come under divine energy of the lord then all these material things will not affect us anymore and prabhupad finally explains that actually uh, devotees fully understand devotional service is so great that if putana could attain such a exalted state just somehow or other being in connection with the supreme personality of godhead even with envious mind what to talk about devotees who take shelter of the lotus feet of the lord with full ecstasy this is what prabhupada is explaining lord kapila is saying so what is he saying sarva bhavena if you take shelter of lotus feet of krishna with sarva bhavena with prabhupada explains at one place what is the meaning of bhava krishna you are so great i am so tiny what can i do for you when this understanding comes that means he is in bhava stage you see what can i render service unto you you are so great so in that stage of life uh, one can attain the lotus feet of the supreme lord so one should understand that if even the enemy of the lord without sarva bhavena rather with pratikula bhava those emotions which are not favorable to devotional service like enviousness even with that when putana rendered even some service to the lord she got such an exalted post what about devotees who worship the supreme lord with sarva bhavena so this is the understanding which lord kapila is giving about the exalted position of devotional service so we'll stop with this granth rashi mat bhagavatam ki ever guru shri prabhu pad ki jai